Good morning to you. I want to uh, talk with you about the other commandment. Uh, let me explain what I mean by that. But let me put this devotional into a scriptural setting. When an expert in religious law asked Jesus, what is the greatest commandment? Jesus had a ready answer. You shall love the Lord your God with all of your heart and with all of your soul and with all of your strength and with all of your mind. And you shall love your neighbor as yourself. I'm inviting you to join me in trying to get to the deeper and very deepest meaning of these first commandments. We believe we understand what the first commandment says and means about loving God. But what do we believe these words really mean? You shall love your neighbor as yourself. Recognizing in beginning this, that the deeper meaning of loving one neighbor, one's neighbor as oneself may be a may well be a challenging to our current way of living. Let's pursue how we might try to answer the question. How do I love myself? Well, I take care of myself, right? How? Well, I provide a place for myself to live. I care for myself in this primary need way. A roof over my head is certainly necessary, right? Furniture, a kitchen, a bathroom, absolutely necessary. Some rooms, heating and air conditioning, the required amenities. I care for myself in the matter of food itself, a refrigerator to keep it cool, appliances to cook and heat, providing physical sustenance for my body. I care for myself when I get sick. This is one way I love myself. When I'm not feeling very good, I begin to worry about myself and start caring for myself in an unusual way. I hadn't thought about it too much, but I have to admit that I love myself and take care of myself in intense ways when, when I become ill or diseased or I just get sick. I care for myself by providing my body a comfortable place to sleep and rest. I guess you say I love myself in this manner. Loving and caring, they're kind of two sides of the same coin, aren't they? I hadn't thought about it much, but Yes, I do love myself in specific ways, just, by, just like most everybody does, right? And amenities, books, television, phones, methods of communication, well, a few. A person has to stay connected to his loved ones, doesn't he? Transportation, a car, vehicle, water, medical, clean air to breathe, I try to take care of myself pretty well. I would have to admit that I do. Now, to ask ourselves the, quote, elephant in the room, unquote, question. Do I love my neighbor as much as I love myself? Do I care for my neighbor like I care for myself? I am aware, and I'm sure you are, that there are thousands, hundreds of thousands, yes, millions of people who do not have enough to eat, who do not have a place to live, who do not have medical care, who do not have a security of living, means of communication, and so forth. As I think about all the people in the world there are so many, many needy people. Do you mean to tell me that when I say, I love my neighbor as myself, 
that I become responsible in some of these ways for helping those people? Do you mean to infer or strongly imply that I am responsible to share what I have with my neighbor? How many of my neighbors? How far away are my neighbors? Just down the block or down the street or across town or across the state, across the nation, across the waters? over the world? How far does this question, how close do my neighbors have to be in order to qualify for being a neighbor? And really, the toughest question is, I know I love myself, I'm supposed to. How am I going to live day by day loving my neighbor as much as I love myself. I know this is a tough question, but I felt like I had to ask it for myself and maybe for you. Will you ponder it, meditate on it, pray about it? Ask yourself, how do you and I love our neighbor? as we love ourselves? How do we care for our neighbor as we do care for ourselves? Hello. My name is Reverend Tom Stanley, and I am the senior minister here at Central Christian Church in Enid, Oklahoma. I want to welcome you to our online ministry. During these profoundly challenging times, it is important to remain safe, socially distanced, and wear a mask whenever possible. My hope and prayer for you and your family is that you will remain safe and healthy and blessed by God. Our online ministry here at Central Christian Church is growing. We are touching the lives of thousands of people every single month. Our goal is to share the gospel and good news of Jesus Christ, our love for our neighbors, and the welcome of God to everyone. If you're new to our ministry, please check out our website at centralenid.org and our Facebook page. A completely new website is in the works and will be rolling out in the next few weeks, so don't be surprised if it changes suddenly. If you would like to join this fellowship and partner your ministry with ours, we would welcome you with open arms. All are welcome in our ministry, fellowship, and worship. If you would like to support the ministry of this place as we change lives of people in Enid, in Oklahoma, and around the world, there, there are several ways that you can give. You can connect to our website and give online. You can download the Givelify app and find Central Christian Church of Enid and donate that way. We also have the ability to take ACH deposits, which are directly withdrawn from your bank account. You can use your credit card on the website or on the Givelify app. If you have questions about how to support the ministry of God here at Central, please don't hesitate to call our office. My deepest prayer is that God will bless you and make God's face to shine down upon you and grant you peace today. Have a blessed day.